We're off to see you. <laughs> okay. Anthony, no, stand up because you're about to make a cameo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a vlog. I'm heading to Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> okay, Trader you know what's funny? Is that Anthony came over and he was wearing a polo. And I told him, like, oh, change your shirt. And he had another shirt in his bag Back and his, um, little, his little satchel. So then it was this color shirt. And when I tell you that we always find a way to match, we always find a way to match. Matching now, Anthony, matching. do you know why we're going to Trader Joe's? To find some butter. Do you saw my phone? No. <laughs> so I saw this is, like, very popular or i seen it a lot all throughout TikTok. This is the Brazilian Nut Body Butter. It's basically a body butter that I'm trying to find at Trader Joe's. I'm going to go ahead and show you some beauty products available at Trader Joe's and all that good stuff. So let's go to those clips. Finally here at Trader Joe's. Parking was hard, but we made it. Now here's a little overview of all the beauty products they do have. Now what I do love is that their beauty products are affordable. Here is a Nourish Spa Conditioner and it retails for $2.99. This is a good one if you're looking for slip, along with the Tea Tree Conditioner. Now I do have a video where I talk about them, so I'll show that at the end, but here is the information on it. Now this shampoo, mm, it was a little bit on the drying side. You can always follow up with a moisturizing product to balance it out, but it was pretty stripping. And they do have the coconut body butter not the one that i was looking for but this one doesn't look too bad so they do have a conditioner and they have an official hair mask and it's only 3.99 this one does contain silicone so if you don't mind that the ingredients to this doesn't look too bad so you can always check it out i always gotta re-up on my favorite toothpaste now i didn't know they had body scrub so that doesn't look too bad now this is all of their skincare. Moisturizer, face wash, eye creams. They got a lot of skincare. What I love is that their oils are 100% pure. I have bought the jojoba oil, but I do want to try the Argan one next. And just a, a little random corner about some popular snacks. Um, yeah, just wanted to show you that. Now this product took me a long time to use up and I really do like this conditioner. It provides a good slip, which is something that's very easy to detangle with. I like the scent, it has like a very invigorating scent because it has peppermint tea tree oil eucalyptus all this stuff you don't really notice it too much on the scalp overall this product gives such a nice slip on the hair now this product i think it costs under five bucks at trader joe's so it's like a really good steal if you're looking for something to really detangle your hair with you guys are gonna think that i go to trader joe's a lot which i don't i don't go a lot but i apparently picked up two conditioners so this product right here is another cheap conditioner from their store i think it's under five bucks as well around three four dollars it provides a nice slip again it's moisturizing i do like it the scent isn't really strong it has like a little floral scent basically the trader joe's conditioners are really good with slip and really detangling so if you're looking for something that is cheap that will really make detangling easy you can't go wrong with the trader joe's conditioner would i repurchase this no only because i want to try more conditioners out and i don't go to trader joe's that much hopefully there's not another conditioner in here from trader joe's so we are back from trader joe's actually i've been back the trader joe's clips that you've seen is like maybe a week old but, Anthony, do you know why you went to Trader Joe's? The TikTok body butter. Exactly. And did we get it? What butter? Exactly. It was sold out, as you guys saw in the clip, so I did show you some hair products instead. And I did do a mini haul. This is like mini, like one, two, three, four, five. I bought five things from Trader Joe's, and I kind of want to show you what I got so we can discuss them. Not really, I just want to show you it. First thing is something that I always repurchase from Trader Joe's and I'm gonna forever do that. And it's this toothbrush right here. So this is the anti-cavity peppermint toothbrush with baking soda and fluoride. I really do like it. Now the next thing I got is 
crushed ginger that you can keep in the freezer they also have this in the garlic form as well now ginger is something that i don't really have on hand and when i use recipes that require it i'm like i don't want to go to the store so if i can just have it in the freezer and i can just pop one and use it in my teriyaki sauce or any other sauce that i'm using maybe tea i don't know but i do like that this is like really convenient and keep it in your freezer i bought this turmeric shot right here this is the mighty turmeric with a blend of coconut water turmeric lemon juice and added pepper anthony got the ginger one and he took his shot yesterday i was hoping that we could do it on camera today but i'm not going to take it by myself but this is something that i did buy and you know what we did buy ginger we have ginger okay we got crushed ginger we got this ginger, but we also bought fresh ginger a couple of days ago, and I'm going to make a ginger shot. Yeah. It's probably oh cheaper, too. Yeah, I feel... I'm excited. So I bought the lemon juice, I have the ginger, I have the cayenne pepper, and I have the coconut water. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that all together. But um, I bought a turmeric shot. I'm going to take it maybe tomorrow, because I'm going to do the ginger shot today. But I bought this. So next thing I purchased from Trader Joe is food. So this is something, you know, in the freezer aisle, they have so many different things that you can get. And this is the first time I'm getting the spaghetti. So it's spaghetti pasta and rich creamy sauce with pecorino romano cheese and black pepper. I picked two of these up. I never tried it before, but I'm hoping that it tastes really good. And I could probably add more things to, you know, customize it. Probably add more heavy cream or oregano. I love oregano, but I probably could hook it up with some grilled chicken. Got that. So here's the spaghetti. I made it. It was actually very good. Very peppery, but very good. Now, the one thing that I am excited for in this haul is this ube mochi now if you know me if you know me you know that i love ube ice cream so much that's one of my favorite ice cream and when i saw that it have a mochi flavor i was like anthony we need to try this out and it's funny because it's only two per person and we got you know anthony's like oh let's pick up two and i said at the sign like oh you can only pick up two so i feel like we should try it on camera let's do it we should make this video somewhat interesting, you feel me? We ate one yesterday, but it was kind of melted, so like, I just took a bite. I wasn't really feeling it, but let's do it officially. So in front of us, we have the Ube Mochi 6, gluten-free, keep frozen, purple yam ice cream, surrounded by sweet, rich dough. Rice dough. Oh my god. Rice dough. <laughs> <laughs> this is los calories, pero we don't want to look at that. Yeah, let's not look at that. Let's look at the ingredients. Yeah, let's look at that. Ube ice cream. We love that. That's the first ingredient. <laughs> it looks very sad. It looks very sad. But it got deformed. Yeah. It melted a bit. Look at it. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I don't really mess with mochi like that. You know what? Not bad. Well, you taste the, the the mochi. It's good though, right? It tastes like rice. Oh, I'm surprised you don't like mochi. Why? Why is that surprising? It's yummy. I'm surprised you don't like papaya milkshake. Let's let's go there for a second. No comment. Let me know if you guys like papaya milkshake. Let me know if you ever had that. It's so good. It's stinky. Oh my God, Anthony! <laughs> it smells not. It's so it healthy for funny. you. The way like what? Should I say what it smells like to No, you shouldn't. No, let's, 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 we're having ice cream, and then we're having a beautiful Sunday. And know. you mentioned papaya mochi. Yeah, I know. My enemy. So, more about the mochi right here. I like it. What do you think? It's good. It's good when you actually have it, like, in the freezer and you take it out. Like, when it's somewhat melted, it doesn't really hit. But now that it's, like, fully frozen, like, it's very creamy in the middle has a rice flavor on the outside the mochi so I'm, I'm enjoying it i'm gonna keep eating them you know as like a snack but that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys in this very quick trader joe's haul wanted to show you guys the hair products they have there they don't got the body butter the, they don't have the body butter i was looking for but they do have the coconut one and just a little mini haul food products that i did have let me know if you have a trader joe's next to you and what product what are your like go to food products from trader joe's let me know so i could probably try it and i want to make a video on it but like i'll make an instagram story i could do that if you watch the video to this point i feel like you should leave an ice cream emoji that makes sense you know what leave an ice cream emoji and a purple heart can we do that go ahead and leave that emoji down below and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys you ate the whole thing uh yeah wow it was yummy